<laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Sarah from Average Betty here, and I know I don't have to tell you how much I love potatoes from Idaho. But do you know I'd never been to Idaho or seen a potato come out of the ground? So I went to visit the Gem State to see the spud harvest in full swing. I saw russets. I saw reds. I met farmers and visited farms. I saw Idaho's most abundant gem get picked, stored, packed, and shipped all to feed America. We Americans eat a lot of potatoes. Here's the potato I dug out of the ground myself. Here's the monster potato the Idaho Potato Commission sent me home with. Weighing in at almost two pounds, I can't think of a better thing to do than bake this big boy up and stuff it full of goodness. Okay, so I've scrubbed the monster clean and I've got a monster sized fork here to poke it full of holes. Trust me, if this thing blows, it's going to be a monster mess. It'd be a monster mess. Here's a baking dish, a little salt to help season and crisp the skin. Cause I like to eat the skin, not just because it's full of nutrients, but because it's delicious. This is a little olive oil, which will also help crisp the skin and a little more salt. I'm going to pop this into my preheated oven and it's going to take a little bit longer than a regular sized potato because it's such a monster. When it's done, you'll know it's perfect on the inside if its internal temperature is 210 degrees. Perfection! Let's dress this baby up. Well, technically it's the baby daddy, I guess. You want to use a fork to pop your baked potatoes open. They'll be lighter and fluffier than if you use a knife because the edge of the knife will seal the fluffy interior together. Ooh, hot. Don't do this at home. Hot, hot, hot. Also use the fork to fluff up the inside a bit. Ooh, that's hot too. A little salt and pepper. Butter. Because I use the fork to pop and fluff up the interior, that butter is going to sink all the way to the bottom. If I had used a knife, it would just pull up on top. Yeah, you smell what I'm cooking. Some shredded cheese. Cheesy! A monster dollop of sour cream. Some chopped green onion. Mm-hmm. And what would a loaded monster potato be without some bacon bits? Or bacon strips in this case. It looks like a dang football. You could probably feed a football team with this thing. Get the monster baked potato recipe and more tips for the perfect baked potato at averagebetty.com. While you're there, check out more of my adventure in Idaho. I hope you bake up a perfect Idaho russet soon. It doesn't have to be a monster like this one to satisfy a big potato craving. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, and you can always drop by my home at averagebetty.com. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, not the potato.